Hi friends, welcome back to another exciting math lesson. Uh, we're going to get started on a new module. I'm not going to tell you which lesson we're on because that'll be too confusing because we're going to skip around a little bit. So I'll just uh, be naming our videos the topic that we're going to be discussing. And today's topic is all about 10. Show me 10 fingers. There they are, 10. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, 10 groups, which we refer to as 10 or we have lots of tens, tens, okay? Uh, so let's get started. I was cleaning my house over the weekend and as I was walking around this room and picking up math things and other things that I'm finding, I put them in this bag, okay? And this bag is full of stuff that we're going to sort out and count. So let's get started. All right, so let's see what's in this bag. First thing I found when I was cleaning was these dimes. Let's count to see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there any more? Uh, yes, ten. Ten dimes. Let's see what else is in this bag. I got some pennies. Let's see how many pennies. Let's make a group of pennies. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten dimes and ten pennies. All right, let's see what else is in my bag. Oh, I found some cups. Let's see how many cups I have. You ready? Move my bag out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Do I have any lids for these cups? Ah, yes, I have some lids for these cups. Count with me, friends. You ready? Let's see how many lids? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, I don't have enough lids. How many more do I need to make 10, friends? Yeah, that's right, I just need one more. Let me check that bag to see if I have one more. Oh, good, I have one more, 10. Uh, let's see what else is in my bag. Oh, I found some raisins, friends. Uh, but the raisins are really small, so I'm going to put them in this tray right here, okay? And it, that'll help me see. Let's see if I have how many raisins I have. If I have another group of 10, friends. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many more do I need to make 10? I have seven. How many more do I need for 10? Three. Eight, nine, 10. Good job. And that is all my raisins. All right. So I have some dimes, I have some raisins, I have some pennies, I have cups with lids. There are so many, so many ways to make 10. Uh, let me check this bag one more time. Oh, I found these apples. Let's make a group of apples, friends. You ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and one more makes 10, 10 apples. So I have 10 apples, 10 cups, 10 lids, 10 raisins, 10 pennies, 10 dimes. Okay, so today our topic is 10 groups, uh, which we refer to as 10 or 10s if you have lots of groups of 10s. Our goals for today is I can count by 10s to 100 and I can identify how many 10s. We're going to start with identifying how many 10s first and then at the end of the video we'll practice counting um, by 10s to 100, okay? So what are tens? Uh, tens are a group of 10, and we refer to more than one group of 10 as tens, okay? Uh, counting in tens is quicker than counting in ones. Uh, counting one, two, three, four, five, counting by tens is a quicker way to count lots of objects. We can count large numbers by adding the bundles of tens together. So I have some crayons here, how many uh, groups, how many tens or groups of tens do we have in crayons, friends? Here's one, two, three. That's three tens. Three tens. Uh, we also refer to that number as 30, but today we're just going to count how many groups of ten. Uh, and we have three bundles of ten crayons or three tens of crayons. So let's go back to uh, the objects that were in my bag. And let's count how many of the objects there were in my bag. How many groups of 10 or 10s? You ready? <clears throat> Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of 10 or six 10s. <clears throat> Here's how many ladybugs do we have? Well, I can count them one, two, three, four, five, or we can count them much, much quicker. You ready? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six tens of butter of not butterflies, the ladybugs, Mr. Fishball. Oh my gosh, get it together. How many strawberries do we have? Well, they're in groups of 10, so let's count how many 10s there are. You ready? One, two, three, four. Four 10s. All right, now it's your turn to try it. You try it. So I want you to pause this video, and for each of these pictures, I want you to tell me how many 10s there are in those pictures. So pause. Uh, think about it or write it out and then press play and we'll check your work, okay? All right, let's check your work. So for beads, I have one, one, two, three, four, five. That's five tenths. For sticks, I have one, two, two tenths. And for bags of trash or those plastic bottles, I have one, two, three. Three bags of plastic bottles and groups of ten, that's three tens. Let's uh, practice some more, friends. <clears throat> All right, here's the problem of the day if you are not into our Nearpod today. Here I have some soccer balls and some basketballs. One of these groups of balls is ten. And the other one is not. What I want you to do is I want you to look at those uh, soccer balls, those sports balls, those basketballs, and tell me which of them have 10. You can have mom or dad or whoever's helping you out text me to answer, or you can draw a picture and send me a picture of it, uh, but tell me which one has 10. We're going to get to our Nearpod friends in just a minute, but before we do, let's go and practice counting by 10s. Friends, when we count by 10s or skip count by 10, uh, we're going to skip over the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and just count the 10s, okay? And those are the numbers at the end. So here we go. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Friends, all these numbers have a pattern to them. And this chart is set up to kind of help you visualize that pattern, to see it. So here are all my ones, here are all my twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, and this last row are the tens. Oops, sorry friends. I messed up my screen. I'm just gonna adjust it back real quick. There we go. All right, uh, and when we skip back, count by tens, uh, we just count, practice counting the last number in each row. So let's do it again. Let me hear you. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, and why do we practice this? It's uh, so that we can, if we can get these numbers really good uh, to memorize them, if you can memorize these numbers, and be able to count them and it'll help you identify other numbers to 100. So these numbers will help you recognize all these other numbers, okay? Which what we'll be doing for the rest of uh, the school year probably is talking about numbers to 100. So let's just start with this column right here, the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Let's practice counting by tens on our hands, you ready? Get your fingers ready. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's try it one more time. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job, friends. Um, you can practice counting by tens more with the video that I posted on kinderlines.org. Uh, you can also make flashcards of the tens. Um, it's really important that we learn to name and recognize those tens on that 100 chart because it'll help us name all of the other numbers on there. All right, friends, if you are my Nearpod friend, uh, hop on Nearpod. You can click the link below this video. It will take you straight to the lesson. If you're using the app and you need to find the lesson, you can use this code AXZPD. That's AXZPD. All right, friends. And here is what you're going to be doing. These bundles of candies are in groups of 10. All you have to do is count how many groups of 10 you see and write how many tens there are. Okay, you can do that again over here. Uh, count each bundle of 10 and tell me how many tens there are. You don't have to tell me 40 or 50, you could just tell me five groups of 10 or four groups of 10 and so on. And then we have a number chart where the tens are missing. You can use this bank up here to write in the missing tens and then practice counting by tens. And the same for the rest of the chart. For some reason, it's not there. All right, friends, that does it for me today. If that chart isn't in, in there for you, you can just skip that slide. I don't know, it may not be rendering correctly for me, uh, but it was there when I made it, I promise. If it's not there, don't worry about that, that slide. You can uh, practice counting 10 on the video that we have. There it is. Oh my goodness. It's just my computer must be acting slow today. That does it for me today. Uh, great work today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.